The hook turn soccer move is also known as the chop or the outside of the foot cut. Tip number one, position your foot correctly. So you're gonna shape your foot like a hook, which means that your toe is up, your heel is down, and that ankle is locked. Also, keep your knee slightly bent and your foot slightly off the ground. Tip number two, make sure to get your foot all the way past the ball. When performing that hook turn, it is vitally important that you get that foot all the way past the ball entirely so that when the ball is rolling and when your foot meets it, it'll perfectly stop where you need it. It is highly recommended that when performing a chop shot fake that you completely stop the ball, which makes it a lot easier to know exactly where it will be for that explosive next push. And and could you give this video a like? When you do a hook turn lazily, that ball will continue to roll a little bit and will make it so that you're gonna have a less accurate next touch, especially when you're on a bumpy soccer field. By the way, I'm Dylan Joseph, trainer and number one best-selling Amazon author. Tip number three, use this skill to put yourself between the ball and the defender. Certain skills are best used in specific situations. With a hook turn, you can effectively chop that ball so that your body is between the ball and the defender. This makes it very difficult for the defender to get the ball without fouling you. However, keep in mind that this often means that you're going to be turning your back to the direction in which you need to score. Therefore, use this skill when you're looking to no longer attack forward and looking to lay a ball off to a teammate that's making a run or someone directly behind you. So avoid this skill when wanting to continue attacking forward towards the net. A better cut to use when looking to continue to attack forward is that step on, step out. And when you do that hook turn, make sure that you get your arms out so that you can press off the defender as they're trying to steal the ball. A pro tip is to combine the hook turn with a shot fake. Remember, a shot fake involves your arms and your leg going up exactly as if you were actually going to shoot the ball. By doing a hook turn with a shot fake, it will buy you even more time because the defender will do one of two things. If you do that shot fake within three yards of that defender, they're gonna likely lunge in to try to stop that shot, which will open up space in the other direction. Or if the defender is more than five yards away from you, then they'll likely flinch because they don't wanna get hit in the head with the ball. A great way to practice the skill is between two lines that are five yards apart on the field. If your field doesn't have lines, then use cones, but you really don't need anything at all. This will help you become more comfortable with taking touches that are five yards apart and using that hook turn. I recommend that you stay facing the same way the entire time so that you're using both feet at the same time during this drill. Go back and forth for sets of 10, so that means you'll be doing five hook turns on each side. As you become more comfortable, consider adding in the shot fake so that you become even better with this efficient skill. And subscribe.